This playthrough is rated E for everyone. About 4.6 billion years ago, the sun had nine smaller stars and named the third one Gaia. My dear Gaia, please listen to me. From this time forward, every one billion years, you will have children called life. One of them will be able to help you to build a new era. Each child must endure a difficult trial. You must think it's too severe, but it is necessary. The trial is a test of nature, the survival of the fittest. If he passes, I will allow him to be your partner and to enter Eden. Is this Charles Darwin's favorite video game? Greetings and salutations, viewers. Vaughn over here with another game from my library. This time it's Evo, The Search for Eden, created by Enix and Al Almanick back in 1993. Uh, back in the day when Enix was its own company and uh, and they released a lot of, uh, uh, like uh, a lot of uh, Life Plus games, a lot of uh, nature games, and a lot of games about like the spiritualism and stuff like that. It was a very interesting time in the early 90s for the Essie and Tiles, at least done by Enix and like Quintet and stuff like that. This one's a particularly interesting game overall because of the, the theme of the game as well as how it plays. So let's st press start and see what the whole journey to Eden is all about. And I'll talk about the game as we, as we play. Ooh, who's this lovely lady? Hi, my name is Gaia. I am the one who watches over all life, including you. You will journey through many periods of time on this planet, a journey of change. Whoa, who's that ugly thing? The journey will not be easy. Only the strong will survive. This is a trial given by my father, the sun. I hope you can survive this trial and meet me in Eden. This will be the end of your journey. Well, the time has come. You may go now. You're already a fish. It took three billion years for your body to evolve. I wonder if that's actually true. I know sometimes in old games, sometimes they actually base a lot of the stuff off uh, scientific study, but I don't know if that's still true to this day. I'll admit my study of evolution and uh, stuff past a certain period of time is very rusty. You must travel alone. Please be careful. So basically we're traveling to Eden to uh, to meet Gaia and produce the and, and repro reproduce the, the uh, life on the planet. I think that's a worthy goal, don't you think? Good luck. Good luck. Yeah, pretty much we're, we're there to go meet Gaia and be awesome. Chapter 1, The World Before Land. 500 to 400 million BC. I like the music in this game quite a bit. It's very charming. This is one of those games that's a, it's an art. Well, I guess I'll play the game and we'll go over that, shall we? So we're in the Sea of Origin, is what this place is called. Ocean of origin. Oh, sea of origin. Ocean of origin. So, we are a fish. So, we can move around on the... So, the whole game is going to be a side-scroll type of thing. It's an R uh, RP... It's an action side-scroller RPG type of combination of games. So, at the top of the screen there, we have our HP or total. As soon as it hits zero, we die. However, dying does not mean the game is over. What that means is Gaia will resurrect us, but we lose something in the process. We lose what's called evolution points, which is up in the upper right corner. Evo P, as, it, as it's called there. What we need to do is we need to build up our evolution points and basically evolve over the course of the game. Now, we won't evolve like natural creatures. A lot of natural creatures do. We have a choice in how we evolve. But first, let's... Uh, how do we evolve? Well, there's a couple things we can do. 
Well, that doesn't do anything for me. Eating food does not cause me to evolve. Yeah, if you eat plant food on the bottom, it'll heal us uh, depending on where you're at. So every time we eat plant food, at least here it'll heal us 3 LP or to add to HP. However, uh, since we are apparently a carnivorous creature, we need to fight the local flora and fauna. In this case, jellyfish. Well, we have a new, another newcomer. Welcome to the world where the rule is only the fittest shall survive. Well, look, newcomer, you better listen to the rules of this world. There are three. One, fight for survival and for food. Two, only move forward, never back. The last is evolve and become stronger. Well, this is a very dangerous world, isn't it? Are you afraid of it? The weak and flabby will be easy to defeat. What about you, newcomer? Well, let's find out. Take this and this. All right, and he drops some meat. So as soon as we eat the meat, boom, we gain two evolution points. So what are these used for? So, uh, well, how did I attack? Well, you press the Y button here. The X button will also uh, press, uh, also do that, but this is mainly for eating like um, uh, uh, greens and stuff like that. Uh, mainly if you want to attack, you want to press the X button. There's also a use for the B button. However, we won't have that for at least a little while. Um, L2 and R2 button don't do anything. And, oh, sorry, I'm thinking of a different controller. Sorry, L and R do use, do something, but it's only when you finish the level. If you want to start, you can pause the game. If you want to press select, you can look into our different options. So, we have evolution. So if we press B, we can go into evolution. What that is, is uh, you have multiple different body parts to evolve over the course. Some things you can't evolve until you hit a certain point or hit a certain hurdle or part of the game. So, let me go over the specifics of what each, um, body part does so because you'll have to evolve your creature and this will change how you look and evolve into and what's it affects your stats so jaws uh your jaws are where the bulk of your offensive power will come from typically the more expensive the dentures the more sheer power you'll get though that's not always the true depending on later on in the game i'll mention um usually you want to evolve your jaws over a little bit over time until like maybe later in the game and then you want to go for the best jaws ever so for right now the only option for jaws is our original jaws and we can do the kura Silachi's jaws and the Zinchi, uh Zinchi, Zinchi's jaws we want to build up to the kura uh slack slacks jaws or whatever basically a shark um we eventually want to get the Zen, uh, Zenithi's uh, jaws as well, but uh, like I said, you saw we only got 10 Evo points, so it's going to be a little while till we build that up, but it will build up faster as we progress through the game. Alright, we got the uh, horns as well. Uh, only, uh, so, horns are kind of an interesting beast, so they increase your attack power, however, the problem with horns is that they break after a while, and you basically waste your... Um, you waste your, oh, well, depending on what you buy, you waste your evolution points, you'll have to buy it again. Now, depending on where you are in the game, you might not mind that so much, but uh, I would overall avoid horns for the most part. There are a few exceptions I'll bring up. Um, uh, like, in this part of the game, the angler horn would be good because it doesn't break, and it has the ability to pull uh, fish towards you, certain types of fish, anyway. So we'll probably build towards that at some point if we want to make it easier to fight things. All right. Neck, we can't do anything with neck now. Hold neck doesn't really do much per se. Um, uh, the neck will usually, uh, will, we can evolve the neck later on um, when we become a mammal. Spoilers. Uh, <laughs> surprise, right? Um, but a lot of times it's really there for aesthetics and convenience. So if you have a longer neck, you have a better chance to like reach things to, to bite them, but it doesn't add any bonuses. Uh, one of the benefits of neck really is to evolve the neck at a, when we get to that point and evolving in this game heals your hp so one trick is to because neck is the cheapest thing to evolve so if you're about to die for some reason and you don't want to lose all your evolution points you can evolve your you can evolve your neck and it'll evolve you and heal you and then you can keep on going so that's one of the little tricks about the game but for the most part you probably won't be using neck unless you want to use that trick i'm talking about Body is going to be one of the biggest ones we're going to use over the course of the game. So body increases your, well, increases your defense, as well as your life points or HP, depending on what you evolve into. But uh, body is a very big one you want to go into. Um, it's very important, so keep that in mind. So if you're having trouble or getting hit quite a bit, maybe upgrade your body to get some more defense. So we got quite a few. we got scalar body, shell body, and we can increase our body size or decrease it. 
uh, depending on sometimes you want to be smaller because sometimes you'll be faster or smaller if you get bigger sometimes you get slower but anyway we don't have enough LP, uh, uh, evolution points for that all right hands and feet so right now we uh, technically since we're not a mammal we don't have um, uh, we don't have hands and feet as per se so in this form we have fins so we have the coalition fin and the tackle fin um, fins will help us basically um, move around through the through the ocean um, and sometimes it can have an effect on the body and stuff like that as well um, but basically use this mainly for like I said for speed or to help evolve your character into something else so but right now we don't need anything right now but uh, see dorsal fin whoops keep pressing the wrong button so the dorsal fin is a big concern only in the first chapters of the game after a point we won't even have to use the dorsal fin anymore uh, dorsal fins pretty much give you the same talents between each one so really it's more uh, uh, but in the most cases just buy the ex most expensive one and be done with it um, trying to think what else to really say about about uh, really not much like I said dorsal fin is very limited at a time so we can remove dorsal fins but we will want to get one at some point at least in the first couple chapters of the game whoops don't have a D, a G, uh, don't have evolution so can't do anything with that all right tail the tail is also a device meant to make you jump higher um, oh yeah the d dorsal fin can sometimes make you jump uh, obviously we don't have a tail right now in terms of like mammal tail but when we actually are able to jump it'll help us jump and uh, that's when we actually use the B button but we can't use it for now um, in in this case it'll help us move through the water faster overall and eventually make us uh, turn us evolve us even higher so you want to get one of these at least at some point just to move through the first couple chapters so and then the back of the neck is um, uh, is a weird weird one because it's the back of the neck uh, to get to evolve uh, as a certain to beat certain levels of the game you have to evolve into a certain type of creature or get to a certain part and the back of the neck kind of helps with that in a lot of certain cases but weirdly enough very few evolutions in this game actually evolve the back of the neck which is kind of funny um mainly after later chapters you'll kind of notice that a bit more um but uh the back of the neck can help with uh, strength and speed later on um and it doesn't hinder movement when you actually evolve it so so it is kind of weird a weird ability that some of these are involved but anyway all right capability what that is whoops Capability that just tells you what your HP max is and what your stats are so attack power and then biting strength kick strike and horn defense power How much damage you can take and how much it takes off when you get hit agility how fast you are and jumping abilities How far you can jump when we actually get to that so and record of evolution a well, record of evolution What this is it's an interesting feature So if you ever at the point of the game we can grab certain items called green crystals I don't know if that's their official title the green crystals which allow you to fluctuate to a different evolution if you if you uh, bite into them and what it does is it changes you to evolution that you have marked in the record uh creature of uh creation you can have up to 50 pages of creatures and um i say green crystal oh no uh no i think it's yeah green crystals while you transfer in and the, the most time you ever want to use the record to record your creature is if you have a, a particular favorite you like to use depending on certain combinations or how you evolve you can evolve back to that with a cr green crystal but a lot of times you're probably going to use it when you grab a red crystal what a red crystal does is it evolves you past your initial evolution to a really powerful one for a temporary amount of time so what you do is you record during that time period which lasts at least like two minutes you save that and then whenever you grab a green crystal you swap to that for a while and uh, take advantage of that powerful form so that's mainly what we'll be using the record of evolution for so all right anyway so let's keep biting these jellyfish so yeah unfortunately the first area of the game is going to be pretty straightforward we'll bite these guys for a while they spawn pretty quickly and they shouldn't do almost no damage to you unless you purposely try to hit yourself uh we want to get up to like maybe 500 uh evolution so just keep biting those fish and yeah you can uh, bite into multiple ones now uh, there are a couple of ver different versions of meat that you see there um well, there's basically just two. One is regular meat, one's flashy meat. If you get flashy meat, you've got a lot more uh, evolution points uh, for doing that. Unfortunately, not getting anything with that. Now, if you want to move a little bit faster, like a little bit of a dash, if you just press either the left, left or right multiple times back to back, you'll uh, do kind of a little bit of a charge. So, all right, let's just, uh, yeah, unfortunately, there's not much I can say about this one. Uh, like what to do is just basically eat, keep eating these jellyfish, so. 
I've never actually had jellyfish before. I wonder if it's actually... I've had jelly. Is that the same thing? What? Hey, I actually got hit. What the? But yeah, if, I, if you want to heal, well, you can eat, eat. Eating me will heal, but I can also eat those. Uh, um... Oh, there you go. I should get to show off his attack. He tried to sting me. Usually, uh, jellyfish don't straight up grab you. You, you. Usually it's you. Oh, there's a flashing one. So yeah, you get 50 LP for that. So nice. Uh, but yeah, usually the way you get stunned by jellyfish is you just kind of run into them. So we basically just want to go through this level until... Now, 200 is technically good enough, but I, I want to get at least a few extra LP uh, to or evolution points to build up on. So I'll try to keep grinding down to a minimum so you won't have to. Because the game... Overall, this game isn't super hard. It's more entertaining and interesting more than anything um, in terms of just what the game is and what the gameplay style is, you know. I mean, have you ever... I mean, how many games have you played that deal with evolution that isn't like a um, children's uh, learning game that's usually super boring? Although there were a couple of learning games I played as a game that were entertaining, like Math Blasters and stuff like that. If anyone remembers that, those type of games. Um, but yeah, this... I don't know if this game really teaches evolution well, per se, but, I mean, it has some interesting themes into it, and the idea of, obviously, survival of the fittest is a... is tr for the most part true in, evo in, uh, in the, the natural world. It's, it's whoever can evolve or at least get to a point where they can uh, at least not be stronger, maybe faster or smarter than the other creatures. Um, and obviously as a fish, we're on top of the food chain. So we can just we can just take quite a few hits. Um, yeah, if you're if you're good at this part, obviously you'll never you'll never actually get hit by these things. But like I said, since since you can immediately heal like right afterwards by eating the meat, I, you don't have to worry too much. So, all right, we're almost done with this. So don't worry. Like I said, I'll I'll try to keep stuff like this to a minimum. And this game runs pretty pretty smoothly and pretty quick. I don't if there are any bugs in this game, I'm not aware of it. This this game is pretty well polished overall and has a very nice theme to it. Uh, 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 or aesthetic and everything like that. And the music is very uh, soothing too. You'll very rarely get any like uh, un unnecessary tunes and all this other stuff. So, oh yeah, and sometimes the meat will float up to the top depending on uh, where you're at. Obviously, if you're not in water, it won't do that. So, all right, we've got our last jellyfish here. Okay, so yeah, this one's pretty straightforward area. Just kill the, just finish the jellyfish and whatever. So, all right. So let's go ahead and evolve our dorsal fin while we're here. So we want to get, in this case, we want the uh, original dorsal fin, saline dorsal fin, or the Curacelat, uh dorsal fin. That's the one we want to get. So let's go ahead and uh, do that. Mis mysterious time stream uh, evolves you. And there we go. So now we're a lot faster. And our LP went up by 10 as well. So we get more HP. Also, uh, our strength went up quite a bit as well, and our agility went up, so yeah. Alright, so we're done with this place, so let's go and leave. You leave by going to the left, uh, left side of the, or right side of the screen. Um, you can also leave by pressing L and R, depending on what level, like, together. Uh, if you've already finished your objective, you can also press L and R to leave. But yeah, the way you go through the uh, upper map is just press the directional button, and then you press the B button to enter in the first place, so. Alright, so now we are at the... Cave of Guidance. All right, so now we can find more jellyfish. However, the jellyfish do not give us as much as uh, much um, ev uh, uh, as much as what we want anymore. So we want to go ahead and enter into this cave right here. And now we got some new enemies, eels. So what they do is they basically just run into you, so they can kind of uh, take uh, do a lot of damage to me. But yeah, they'll give you 15 uh, evolution points instead. And since we have the dorsal fin, we're a lot faster, so we can. For the most part, avoid them unless you unless they wiggle into you, you know. Yeah, we'll need to definitely beef up our jaws at some point so we can get a little bit more, uh, a little bit more damage. But yeah, being able to at this part of the game, being faster is a lot is a lot better. So, ooh, what's that down here? Rumors circulate among the cucumbers that Hangler's horns attract enemies because of its great light. They say we can't return here if we cross the third volcano in the sea. It is guy is planning to lead the fish to a new world. Hmm. A new world. Interesting. Yeah, so sometimes certain creatures, if you walk up to them, they'll uh, they'll talk and you can eat them. <laughs> well, survival of the fittest, baby. Anyway, huh, there's a crystal here. What's this do? Something in your body speaks. How are you progressing? Don't worry. I will help you evolve. You may call me Crystal. 
Okay. I will give you advice on how to evolve. Evolving your jaws will increase your biting strength. Evolving your body will increase your defense power. Evolving your horns will increase your attack power. Evolving your hands, feet, and dorsal fin, as well as your tail, will increase your hit point level, agility, and strength. Be careful. Evolving one part of your body may decrease another part. Yeah, so keep that in mind, so... But anyway, yeah, Crystal is here to give us advice. So, just how to, how, basically how to play the game, so... But I've already explained most of that before, so let's kill a couple of eels. Don't want to don't wanna grind too much here. Just want to get a little extra, extra evolution. Yeah, who knew that eating meat was the way to evolve? Take that, vegans! Uh, <laughs> I mean... I mean, I hate to say it, we were kind of evolved to eat meat. Uh, at least humanity was. We're omnivores, so we eat both meat and, and vegetable. I mean, if you want to not eat meat, that's fine. It's just our bodies were kind of designed for that, so keep that in mind. It's In the animal kingdom, animals will eat themselves easily. Like, have you ever seen a dog that was raised vegan? Yeah, no, they're not very healthy at all, so. But anyway. All right, so we grab that, and we can now leave the, leave the level, so. Whoop. Let's just eat this guy to get healed. Yeah, so let's get out of here. Alright. So now that we've done with the sea of uh, Cave of Guidance, let's head on to the next level. Yeah, a lot of these levels are going to be pretty long to short, depending on where you're at, so... Alright, we are at the Cave of Temptation. Hopefully no guy is going to come in and offer us a lamp. No, sir. Anyway. Yeah, more eels here. Yeah, just keep... Uh, eventually we will... Um, I said upgrade my jaw so I can do more damage so I can but it's all about building up um, your evolution so I think it is just the cave in this area yep I said early parts of the game are pretty straightforward so okay now we got a new creature um, I guess technically they're slugs the big thing about them is that they are split off into two when you initially hit them and they will follow you so you have to be kind of careful yeah I'm not doing this well, as it could be. And they have quite a few HP. Okay. Yeah, they don't heal a whole lot either, so... But they give us a decent amount of uh, evolution. Yeah. The uh, the problem is uh, kind of uh, running into them to bite, if that makes sense. Oof. I have to run back outside to uh, get some jellyfish and heal or whatever. Yeah, these guys can be a bit, bit of a bit of a challenge if you know what I mean but like I said they give you uh, 20, 20 evolution points per kill and if you can get a flashing one you can get um, uh, you can get 100 ooh bad 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 news bears baby bad news bears yeah you have to kind of like bite into them as they're charging you that's how you're supposed to do it so yeah, a little low on HP I'll admit so alright let's uh, kill these things you have to get some uh, uh, sea anemones but wait, what's this? A red crystal? Did I not tell you about the awesomeness of red crystals? Hey there, fish. Try eating a red crystal. You may evolve into a strange creature. Okay. Crystal power causes mysterious evolution. Myster mysterious time stream evolves you. Oh, now we get evolved into the eel. Yes. Uh, so we only get this for a limited period of time. So let's go ahead and record our evolution. Yep. All right. Uh, yeah, let's just call it the. I think it's. I think it is just called the eel. I could be wrong. Um, let's see, I was trying to look up and see if there's actually any reference to like the actual. There probably is a name for. I don't know every single thing about this game, other than. Um, yeah, let's just call it the eel for now. I've heard. Uh, I've heard you can. It, depending if you've evolved yourself past what I've done, you can turn into a stingray instead. Which has like 80 LP and is not as strong, but uh, um, I didn't evolve anything else. So if you just do the torsal fin and eat the red crystal, you'll turn into this guy. If you do anything else outside of what I did, you'll turn into the stingray and probably something else. I don't know every single evolution in the game. I've never, I haven't researched every single nitpicking thing in this game because there's a lot of combinations you can get out of this game depending on what fin you have, what jaws you have, all this other stuff. So, all right. Anyway. So yeah, now we're like super fast. Oh yeah, let me look, show off our capabilities. So look at that, we got 100 HP for temporary. Uh, we got three biting strength, three uh, three biting, three strength, and 12 agility and six jumping abilities. So we are super, we are super fast. So we can just eat these things like super fat. Look at that thing. Yeah, but you only get you only get this form for a couple minutes though. So unfortunately, it will it will not last long. Whoop. Woo. All right. 
let's uh, get out of here. So let's head on to the, yeah, basically this whole area is a tutorial on how to proceed. To, oops, I didn't mean to uh, press the button. I meant to move. All right, let's go in again. All right, so I wanna go down and then left. Yeah, you can, uh, the crossroads will be, uh, yeah, as you can see there, at first you thought you could only go down to this part right here because that new area opened up, we actually stopped here when we go down from the level. So then press left and then up and let's go inside. And here we enter the Ocean of Teratus. All right, the Ocean of Teratus um, is a dormant volcano, as you can see down at the bottom. I like the attention to detail this whole place. All right, so these guys, these yellow fish here are, uh, the reason I'm pausing is because like I said, I only have my form for a couple minutes. So I don't, I want to take advantage of it uh, as we get it. So these fish will give you 25 EP overall and a flashing variety will give you like 125 or whatever. Basically we want to kill these guys for a while until the uh, game uh, lets us. Now this is at a point where if you have enough evolution point, if you want to, uh, I won't evolve it right this second, but if you give yourself the angler fish, uh, Horn, like I was telling earlier, these fish will actually run into you because at first they'll just run away from you. So, yeah, see? Yeah, see how annoying that is that they're just running away from me because of... I can't even take advantage of my awesomeness because of this. But luckily, yeah, if you, uh, well, if you corner them for one thing. Crystal power doesn't work yet. Return to former body. Mysterious time stream of all you. Yeah, so now we're back to regular fish. So, but anyway, if we have the, let me see if I have the, enough for, uh, what's, uh, angler fish is 500. Nope, I can't afford it yet. Okay. But yeah, if we wanted to just, uh, eat these fish immediately without having to worry, then, uh, yeah, unfortunately they, they can, they can kind of, uh, they only got three HP though, so. But we have to basically keep doing this until, uh, the, um, uh, the bubbles in this place expire. So it'll be a few minutes till we do that, so. Yeah, just get in there and munch them. Munch them, munch them, munch them. Munch, munch a bunch of cruncha. Uh, ran off screen. There's a wall of bubbles. Yeah, can't really do much to it until we eat a bunch of these fish. I guess I could have grinded for more evolution to get uh, enough. Uh, yeah, we didn't really get to take advantage of our yield form. But if we ever find one of those green crystals later on, I can always evolve, go back to it at some point. All right, come on, guys. Stay put. Luckily, we can swim for quite a while. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah as soon as you get to him, just keep munching. Uh, no, get back here. I must eat you. Is is Gaia's plan? If we don't get there in time, she'll be she'll be waiting even longer. What the? The walls of bubbles have disappeared because of the explosion from the volcano. Uh oh. Run. Ah uh, yeah, if you uh you can you actually take damage if you get hit by those uh, flailing rocks. So make sure not to. Oop. Ow. 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 I was actually trying not to get hit. Ow. Uh oh. Uh oh. No. This is what happens when you die, by the way. Well, I didn't expect to die that soon. Sorry, you've been defeated. I will revive you. Please keep this a secret from my father. The son. Your Evo has been slightly reduced slightly. How much does it reduce? Well, I'll show you as soon as we get back to it. You have to redo the level, by the way. By half. Yep. That's how it is, unfortunately. So, unfortunately, yeah, I didn't expect to die at that part. Actually, I thought I'd, uh, I thought I'd be able to get past the explosive rocks, but uh, I, I, of course, I defeat the final fish in the middle of the level instead of near the end of the level, so I could have taken advantage of that. So, unfortunately, all that work has gone down the drain. So that's, that's why this game isn't really super difficult because of the whole. The game basically um, lets you keep playing. You just have to do a bit more grinding. Uh, um, after losing, so all right, so I'm gonna I'm gonna take care of these fish really quick and wait till the um, the volcano explosion occurs again. I'll be right back. All right, we're back after the bubbles ex uh, exploded. So hopefully we can now. Yeah, the the ch the the way to do it is to basically try to get the last fish. I don't remember how many fish off the top of my head is to get to the end of the wall. So I died. So at least I showed off what happens when you die, even though I already told you what happens when you die. So. 
We're all right. Looks like uh, looks like our journey through the ocean is a perilous one indeed. But can we evolve into uh, into a final fish form to take on even one of the da most dangerous predators in the ocean? We'll find out next time in the next episode of Evil Evo: The Search for Eden. Thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time.